In this video, we're going to cover exactly how you can use public speaking to get more referrals in your private practice or your business. The first point that I want to make is that so few people are doing public speaking. Public speaking is something that people are terrified of. I think it's more the failure probably that they're scared of than the actual speaking. Public failure, people don't want to do it. But the more that you do public speaking, the better you're going to get at it. So start thinking about stories from your own life. Start thinking about research and get up there and do public speaking. Because it's so hard for people to do, there's so few people that do it, which means that the entry ticket is really high. So go do public speaking and that's going to help you find new clients. One thing to consider is that it helps you build expert content. You get to think through your message. You get to say, here's what I stand for. And that allows people to see you as the expert in that area. When you're doing public speaking specifically around a certain area, say it's depression or anxiety or relationships or trauma, it allows you to craft your message so that you're known for something. And when you're known for something and seen as an expert, you get your ideal client quickly and you're able to charge more for it. Also, public speaking to your referrals helps them move through that process of no like and trust. They know who you are, they like you because you're telling stories that are interesting and giving research that backs it up, and then they start to trust you. You can then do Q&A at the end and show off your skills to be able to be the expert in the room. Also, you want to have some humility with it too. Say things like, you know, I'm an expert, but I don't have the corner on knowledge. You all have all sorts of stories that can serve as case examples for what I'm talking about today. That allows the audience to feel like they're a part of it and you're not some guru on high that's telling them exactly what to do. Instead, you're an expert that's come along for the journey with them as well. Another benefit of doing public speaking that can help you grow your private practice or business is that you get to hear these frequently asked questions. People ask questions over and over that are the same. Those are great opportunities for you to build blog posts, a YouTube channel, an e-course, and all sorts of other things that are gonna help you build your business. When you hear these questions over and over, you're gonna start to notice patterns and you're gonna be able to answer them even better because you've already answered them before. If you aren't doing public speaking with people, it doesn't allow you to do that same thing. You're limited to your own office. Whereas if you're out there talking to the community, that better allows you to connect with them and understand what their questions are. So we wanna think through how do we get these public speaking opportunities? There's really two ways that you can do it. You can try to find audiences that are already built in. This could be a business center, it could be the chamber of commerce, it could be a church, or we can host our own events at the public library or even at your business where you invite people in. Either way has pros and cons to it. You wanna think through what's gonna be easiest to get your word out there and to start speaking more. If you want more resources on how to start, grow, and scale your business, head on over to practiceofthepractice.com forward slash resources, where we have over 30 resources that are gonna help you start, grow, and scale. Have an awesome day.